Hi, I'm Jono, and if you're new here, I do pencil drawings. In the last video, I started a submissions email address and invited you guys to submit some of your art for me to review um, and to critique. I don't know if I made that clear in the previous video that I'm going to be critiquing your work, so hopefully I don't hurt anyone's feelings, but I thought this would be a good way to try and give some advice that's really practical and could maybe help more people in a... I don't know, more interesting way. Also, a huge thank you once again to Squarespace for helping me out and sponsoring this video. The, the response to opening up that email address has been incredible. You guys sent through so many artworks, so that's been a huge privilege to see. And it's such a vulnerable thing, sharing artwork. So that's brave. Well done. That's, yeah, it's it's been cool to see all of your work. I won't be able to get through all of it, though. There's, um, I think I've chosen work that lends itself to points that I think will be more like universally applicable that like the most people would be able to hopefully benefit from. So if I didn't choose your work, I'm sorry. I hope to actually start live streaming at some stage and maybe there I'll be able to have more time to slowly go through a lot more submissions. And um, I think that'll be a more like interactive space, which will be pretty cool to try out. But yeah, let's, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first submission we have here is from Ishan. A really beautifully done portrait. The first thing that stands out to me is that your proportions are perfect. A really, really good job. The first criticism that I have for you for this drawing is that it feels a little bit flat and there's a little bit of inconsistency when it comes to the turns that you've got. The, the shading that you've done around the nose over here is fantastic. And I wish that you'd maintain that level of, of pencil work and care throughout the rest of the drawing. We can see that the light is coming from the left hand side over here. So, sorry, that's a terrible arrow, <laughs> but we can see the lights coming from there. And this side of the face should be in a similar kind of shadow to, to the nose we have over there. Let me quickly show you what I mean and how it might have improved the work. Let's see if this works. And already you can see there's quite a bit more shape here. Um, just with a simple shadow on the one side of the head. What I'm trying to get across here is just that you don't need to focus too much on details, rather go back to the fundamentals, try and capture the larger volumes, and make sure those are okay before you start making sure that all the details in the smaller volumes are, are accurate. The next thing that stands out for me is the eyes and their relationship with the eyebrows. The eyebrows are quite low down, you can see they're quite heavy, and they would cast a shadow over the eyes. It wouldn't just be white like they are here. So I think with understanding just how important your shadows are with creating volume, you'll be aware that things like this can't go unnoticed. So let's just add a little shadow in underneath the eyebrow and see how that changes the eyes. Another thing is also that the eyes themselves are round, so the side facing away from the light will have a shadow as well. So let's add that in. This line between the eyelid and the eyebrow shouldn't be that dark either. So I'm going to lighten it up. I'm going to add just that tiny little hint of moisture on the bottom lid of the eye and also just soften that harsh line a little bit and try and capture the, the bottom eyelid a bit and see how that makes this look. Okay, I think I'm getting carried away on this one. So I'm going to have to stop pretty soon because <laughs> there's so many more that I need to, to talk about. But I hope you understand where I'm getting at with um, just really trying to understand your how your lights and shadows affect the overall the overall work. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's looking a little bit more dramatic. Also, maybe just more in my style. But yeah, the stuff's a, a stylistic approach as well. It's all subjective. So uh, do with it what you like. But thank you so much for the submission. This is a great work. You you're on a good track. Keep going. Our next submission here is from Vishnu. I love the contrast that you've got in your portrait here. It's it's really great. Your pencil work around the nose, around the eye is so good and you're on a really good roll there. I also love your stylistic choice to to have the jewelry stand out to have some color against the monochrome of the of the graphite work or charcoal work in the background. My advice to you would be to try and be a little bit more consistent. You can see the amount of effort that you put into the eyes, the nose and the mouth. Also the shading on the side of the face here is really beautiful. But then we lose a little bit of that in the ear and in the jewellery behind the head. I know this is a cliche, but often things are only as strong as their weakest point, especially with artworks. If you, you have this beautiful drawing and then the ear just falls apart, 
then it takes away from what you've achieved, what you put your hard work into. And it can be so difficult, especially if you start with the parts that you love. Um, maybe then a practical tip would be to start with the parts that you aren't actually sure of because you will spend more time trying to get it right rather than having that anxiety around having put all this effort into doing this beautiful drawing, having the eyes perfect, the nose perfect, and then being afraid of potentially ruining that hard work by not nailing the ear perfectly. I don't think it's bad by any measure. I just think it could be better, especially given how good you are with the other features. So yeah, take it slow and honor the work that you've already done by keeping that same high standard of detail throughout the entire work. But yeah, thank you for submitting a really beautiful drawing. Our next submission is from Fiona, a really excellent drawing here. You did a great job. I think uh, obviously you captured the proportions and everything perfectly. I think my only criticism here would be focusing too much on the details. It, it seems like when you when your eye is quite sensitive, which I can see yours is, you, you're picking up on really small details, which is fantastic. And that happens with practice. So, you know, keep keep training that. But there's a there's a point in which trying to capture those details so uh, strongly starts to take away again from the overall shape. You can you can lose the larger shapes in the detail. It happens often when I try and draw hands and, and things. I, I often get carried away with that detail. And when I look at the piece, step back a little bit, I realize that it looks flat. And it's because I'm trying to draw every single pore, every single crease. Um, and it just has this inverse effect on the overall artwork. So my advice to you would be to keep going the way you're going, but also just remember that you can be more subtle with your details. Um, yeah, I think you submitted another piece. Let me just quickly look for it. This rhino as well, so beautiful, such fantastic work. Look at your, your lights and shadows are, are fantastic, but I think you would have benefited slightly from letting things be more in shadow, um, letting the details not be so dramatic. Um, I wonder, let me try and draw on here. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to ignore it. Okay, so all I've done over here to try and see where the shadows would be, and I've basically removed some of the detail here and tried to capture some of the overall shapes that I'd imagine would have been the case. I don't know what your reference looks like, but by potentially losing some of that, um, some of that overall shape for detail is never worth it. Let's just have a look at what this might look like. So great work, fantastic. I think just losing some of that detail in exchange for shadow shape will do this kind of work a huge service so but yeah i mean look maybe you take this advice maybe it isn't worth it maybe it's a stylistic choice for you to work like this i'm not sure um at this level you can pretty much do what you want but uh yeah well done thanks for submitting before we get to the next review i just want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor squarespace i've been working with them for a couple of years now and they played a crucial role in my career starting out it's so important as an artist or any creative for that matter to have an online portfolio and to have a platform to make it easy for clients to get in touch with you. And for me, I just felt that Squarespace did that effortlessly. I never had to patch or upgrade anything. I could register a domain with them or set up an online store. And most importantly, I can design a portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. Also, every time I got stuck, their amazing support team helped me out instantly. So if you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try. And if you decide that you love them, use this offer code and get 10% off your first purchase. Okay, and our next submission is a pretty cool portrait of a young Michael Jackson. You did a really great job here. Your overall proportions are fantastic. You really, your eyes is really good. Um, I think it looks like you, you started losing a bit of patience maybe with the smaller details though, or at least just the smaller features. When you start looking at the eyes in particular, it feels like you might have gotten them close enough and then just let it go. And I think that that's kind of the, the tipping point for where you can improve the most. If you allow yourself to, to make these mistakes and then erase, correct, try and get it right early on in the drawing before you've committed too hard, um, then you can get things like uh, the eyes looking a little bit better. Something that might help you as well is to study the Riley method for facial proportions. Um, and that'll just help you capture people's um, features in, in a better way, or at least just with a bit more confidence. I think I need to make a video about that next with uh, doing full facial proportions. But yeah, this is a really great job. I think you could benefit again just from 
having uh, the light source be quite um, prominent and, and using the shadows a little bit more aggressively. Also in the hat, it feels like you, you might have gotten frustrated with trying to achieve the texture and just kind of left it and lost a little bit of the overall shape. Actually, I know this original photograph. I just want to pull it up on the side here. So, so yeah, I hope my what I'm trying to illustrate here comes across where that just focusing on the larger tones using that earlier stage to block out will just help you a little bit more rather than focusing on the smaller details and hoping that that's going to just solve the bigger problem. Um, overall, you've got a really good eye. You, you pick up a lot of detail, which is fantastic, but I think just dial it back a bit and um, remember the bigger important blocks. So let's just have a look at how that looks. You see, it just kind of rounds things out a little bit more. And um, I think your drawing will benefit from that in a huge way. But yeah, thanks for the submission. Great work. Okay, and for our next submission, we have a really beautiful drawing of a hawk here by Mateo. You've done such a great job here. This eye is fantastic. I love the detail that you got into there. The detail on the feathers is fantastic. That stuff takes a long time. And so you're demonstrating some good patience here. The thing as well that's letting you down, similar to, to a lot of the other submissions, is losing sight of the overall shapes. I know when we work from references, not all the references are lit the way that we want them to be lit. So sometimes we have to kind of work out of our heads a little bit to give it that dramatic feel or just make the, the drawing have a little bit more punch. I'm not sure how the light would be falling on this one, so it's gonna be difficult for me to try and um, demonstrate as I think I'm a little bit more comfortable with faces and human anatomy, but I think I can see already that there's there's a shadow underneath the chin here with some highlights that shouldn't be as bright as they are. So I'm just gonna soften some of the things that kind of make sense to me, but generally I'm not gonna really know exactly what to do here. My advice would be study the reference, study other references as well, try and see if you can see the anatomy of the, the animal's head or or how the light would, would fall if, uh, let's say, yeah, if it was coming from the top right hand corner here. So I don't wanna do too much here. I don't know what the original looks like. And I also just don't wanna give you bad advice. So for now, this is what I'm comfortable doing to try and demonstrate a little bit of how trying to keep in mind the overall shadows might help you. But overall, this is such a good drawing. You did such a good job. Um, I'm really glad you submitted this. I hope this helps you a little bit. Yeah, thank you. And here we have our next submission. I'm thrilled to see this. This is from the eye drawing tutorial I did a while ago. You did such a good job. You, you captured the overall shapes, the, the shadows underneath the eyebrow, the shadow underneath the bottom eyelid and the highlight on the bottom eyelid ridge. So you're paying attention to the right things here. I, I'd love to see you slow down a little bit. I'd love to see you pay more attention to the shape of the eyelashes. I think in that tutorial I mentioned that the bottom eyelid, eyelashes are often in little clumps of three. Um, and I think those smaller details, if you pay attention to them, they'll reward you so much. Uh, also the eyel eyelashes on the top here, if you slow down, take them, you know, draw them a little bit slower. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to draw over your drawing here, but I think I'm just gonna show you on the side here what I mean. They would rather go in little clumps like this, in little clumps of twos or maybe threes, and pay attention to that curve. Let that try and find a more natural curve rather than just the, the straight lines like that. But yeah, overall, I'm super happy to see this. Um, thanks for thanks for drawing along and and thanks for submitting as well. Um, keep going, looking forward to seeing your work again. So there we go. I hope you guys found this video helpful or at the very least just entertaining to see me destroy some of your artworks. I, I hope I didn't offend anyone. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in the next one or what you thought of this one. And leave a like if you found it helpful or entertaining. It, it helps the channel out in a huge way. So thanks for the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.